Good morning, afternoon, or evening, or uh, wherever you might be in time and space. Kenny is here for noob flights. And how to find your ILS frequencies. If, if you're a noob like me and it, you still haven't figured it out, let's, uh, let's give this a go and see if I can't help you out here a little bit. Okay, well, the first thing is, is when you set up a, a flight plan from, uh, this isn't set to go from K-Fly to Denver. The standard is the VFR Direct. And there's a little information window missing over here that you may or may not see. If you don't see it, one of the first things you want to do is try another setting, like VOR. Nope, nothing there. So let's try instrument flight rules, which we would need anyway for ILS, and then let's get back down to our airport, an airport. Okay, and I'm still not seeing them. And I'm not seeing information over here on this side of the of the screen. Okay. If that's happening to you, let's go down here to open filters. Certain things might be off by default. Like air spaces. Well, air spaces are important to me. I need to know where air spaces are at so I can speak with ATC. Your nav aids. And that might be it right there. The nav aids on off. See, we got other information starting to show up on our. Sorry, folks. Okay, yeah. Turn those off again. Yeah, that's it. Okay. You see these right here at the ends of the runways? Why they don't do it standard like uh, we've been taught with other ones, like there's just one position to click on the VFR maps. But now. Okay, but we're still not getting what we need. So still something is is off. And you might have to... Pardon me. You might have to go back and forth a couple of times. But... Let's see if it's under Navlog. No, it's not. This window should be popping up over here. There. That's what we're looking for. Get back down here. Okay, that's what we're looking for. So now we have that little window popping up on the side, giving us frequency. And there it is, 1091. So it should be the same, 1091. Yeah, ICOS 1099. Looks like they only have one localizer for, for that one. Uh, if, we uh, zoom out here again. I love having the airspaces. You you know you need you need to have your airspaces. I don't think everything is in there because I know that we have those are supposed to be blue for military. Let's uh zoom back down to Denver and look at the frequencies there. Okay, so at the end of each runway now. There it is. There are the frequencies. That's 35, right? Should tell you which runway it is, but... All stuff that you can put in as, as uh, suggestions and bug reports. But you'd think this stuff would pop up easy. Maybe I've just gone about it the wrong way. But that's how I've managed to find the ILS frequencies. And you can cross-reference those frequencies with... Uh, you know, on Skyvector or other software, they should all be using the, the current real world frequencies. Every airport should be right. So far, I, I don't think I've really run into any, any problems. Uh, all the green airports, I believe, are supposed to be users, not generics. Anyway, so I hope that helped you out in finding your ILS frequencies. It took me a while to figure that out. And this stuff over here wasn't popping up. and So I uh, started messing with filters. If you haven't checked out some of these cool other filters, like wind effect, zoom out here. There's the winds, the wind patterns, different color coatings. I mean, it's hard to see them shifting around, but they're there. And you can set this 
for low altitude winds, high altitude winds, or off. Uh, your friends on and off. The weather layer, clouds, precipitation. Doesn't look like that one's really working. We're having some pre precipitation right now. Let's zoom down, see if it's showing it to us. I'm not really seeing anything. We're getting some light rain here. Either way, there's some neat... Uh, there's some neat features down here in your filters. Anyway, I hope that helped you out finding your ILS frequencies. Have a great day, and I will see you in there. I'm going to uh, probably start recording some of the training missions and finding other neat places around the world that, that I'd really like to see. Take care. Bye-bye.